Hello, visitors. Thank you for the subscribe. That felt really wrong for many reasons. Reason one, wrong position. Reason two, wrong height. Reason three, wrong chair height. Reason four, no top hat. And reason five, hello, people of the internet and beyond. Today, we are doing the 50 subscribers special. Wow. Uh, it's in intro go going to roll us. It really amazes me that just about five months into this, exactly, already at 52 subscribers, I started January 26th was when my first video uploaded. It is now June 28th. 52 frickin' subscribers. Wow. On Instagram from Price Stevenson IV, he asks, how long do you hope to YouTube for? I really hope that I can do this as long as I possibly can because I don't really have a set time that I should stop and I don't really see any reason for me to stop. Now, I've seen it happen. I've seen people go through creative crises where they don't know what to do. They don't know why they're still doing this. I really sincerely hope that never happens to me. And hopefully I can keep doing this as long as humanly possible. But I'm sure when I get older, if I don't make money off of this, which, to be perfectly honest, when I'm older and have to provide for people, but we don't really have to worry about that all that much right now. So we'll just keep going as long as possible. From Dat Pony Boy on Instagram, what is your favorite type of jerky? Now, Dat Pony Boy, I'm not a jerky man. I'm sorry, I, don't, I, I, I really don't like jerky all that much, and um, I think it mainly comes from when I was younger. I was eating a Slim Jim, and my sister said that it came from something, it's like some really far out there, like a dead cat or dog or something, and um, Slim Jims kind of smell similar to beef jerky, and the smell now, just because of that, it almost makes me throw up now. I, I'm sorry, but I hate any jerky Slim Jims and stuff like that, so. <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like any type of jerky. Vanessa asks, what is your favorite sport? Very similar to the last question, and I'm pretty sure you already know this, but... I don't really like any sports. When it comes to playing sports, I like to play pickleball. P pickleball is actually pretty fun. When I was much younger, I used to play golf. Keep that on the down low, though. From Heidi, why is there no food in my house? Well, there is a very simple answer for that. If we go about this logically, there is food in your house. There is always food in your house if you're brave enough. One thing I know about you is that you cannot eat gluten, so you're speaking to any foods that do not have gluten in it. I know I've been to your house recently, and you have all but gluten crackers, and that is food, or maybe they're cookies or something, but you do have food there that does not have gluten, and I can name several because I have just recently been to your house. But when you say, why is there no food in your house, I know you are referring to there not being any snack food in your house. While it sometimes may amaze you that your mom can go into the kitchen and make a full three-course meal with no food in your house, it amazes you when you can go search the cupboard for hours, not even find a single scrap to eat for ten minutes. There's a lot of other reasons, too. If we go about it logically, there is a lot more food in your house than you think. Take your phone screen, perchance. There are, of course, smudges on everyone's screens of their phones. And according to Vsauce, if you take all the oils from your fingers that came off onto your phone, there's about two calories 
on your phone. Using all the phones in your house at any given time, you have enough calories on all the phones to eat equivalent about a can of Dr. Pepper 10. But that's not all the surface in your house that has been touched by grubby little fingertips. If you look your entire counter space, you could probably get about the equivalent of a large Coke. So, there's plenty of food in your house. Your dad also said it's because you're a picky eater, but... It's Adolfo Bro asks, what is the thing you do when you are home alone often? I'm not really home alone that often, but let us see a visual representation. A kid from Africa writes, What microphone do you use to record your vids? I have a MacBook Pro, and originally, I just used the internal microphone, but right now, um, I use a camera that I got for my birthday from someone who I'm not going <laughs> to name. I use the Logitech HD camera, um, and... It has a microphone attached to it. Um, I think it's a hundred dollars. Um, okay, I'm, I'm just not going to talk about that because that's kind of a toxic subject. <laughs> From Bizarre Bits. So who would win in a fight? A cyborg, Terra Sloth, Pig Dactyl, or an evil hamster with every superpower in existence?
come on. It has every superpower in existence. Don't judge it. Another question from It's Adolfo, bro. What is the thing you do when you are bored? A lot of iFunny. And a lot of YouTube. And recently, a lot of binge-watching Gotham on Netflix. From X Lost Wings X, serious question. What do you think of the Illuminati? Now, honestly, I actually do believe that the Illuminati is a real thing because um, my grandpa was in the Masons, which started the Illuminati. We started the Illuminati. I honestly think that it is a group of major people in the world, um, a bunch of billionaires um, and stuff that want to have a one world government and I think that they k killed Hitler. I think that they went into his bunker and killed him and his wife because k the more dictators you kill, the less people there are running the world so that they can run the world. Now, to be perfectly honest, I know I'm just spout, probably just spouting stuff here, but I think they also killed Osama bin Laden because they both died on the day that the Illuminati was founded. And then another question from Dat Pony Boy, and who do you think is in or involved or is not involved in the Illuminati? <laughs> Lauren. Lauren Sutherland. She's secretly Raphael Cruz. She killed JFK. She's the Zodiac Killer. It, it all makes sense. Just watch my Bush Gardens video. It's, it's, it's horrifying. And I did not find any more questions. And if you did ask a question and I did not see it, I apologize. It probably was asked after I stopped filming this. So, um, I, I really like doing this. So, um, maybe sometime we could do this again. Now it's time for what we've all been waiting for. Are you ready for this person that I pull out of this hat? It's going to win the giveaway. It is Lens Joster. The only person in there that I don't actually know in real life. You won the giveaway. Good for you, I guess. You can go subscribe to his channel. He does gaming. I personally don't really like gaming that much. But if any of you like gaming, you can go subscribe to him. But, um, yeah, Lens Joster, you won the giveaway. G good for you. Contact me and, um, give me, like, your address and I can send this out to you as soon as I possibly can. Good for you, kiddo. Well, that's the video. Uh, thank you for 53 subscribers. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Ask any more questions you want. Any ideas for future videos, you can leave them down there. If there's anything you want me to talk about, I've got some pretty good ones planned coming up here really quick. Um, I'll see you next Monday. Adios, kiddos! Who else really likes the thumbnail Heidi made? It, it's really cool.